What's going on guys? Jake Teasler with latest Mustang and automotive news. Today's video, we've got 2021 Ford Bronco four-door photos in real life. We've got the 2021 Bronco on 37s with a two-inch lift. This looks like it's going to be factory option, something you can order from Ford. And then 15 Bronco Easter eggs. Some Also some the chassis, we can check that out. And I'm, I think I'll just make a whole nother video separately of all the different trims and just broken down into a trim so you can actually understand them. If you, want to, if you want to see that, let me know down in the comment section if you want that separately. Let me know if there's any other videos that you guys want. I make video responses to questions. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. You want to stay up to the latest Mustang Bronco news and hit the links if you'd like to support the channel. So let's do the easter eggs first and then we'll check out the photos right because i gotta make you guys stick around for the video i can't just let you off that easy right okay so the headlights basically it's a throwback headlight uh circular and that's you know this will help the truck look a lot less like a jeep at night blah blah blah, blah. uh the, the torx bits right so these are mnp 8.8 .8. You're driving a Bronco, so grade eight bolts are tough. Uh, these are Torx bolts. They were saying that you could probably like replace these, I guess, if you wanted to go with different colors. I don't know what they're getting at that with it, but it it just adds a cool touch because actually just it does say Bronco on them. And if you look at the interior, it's a like a lot of rugged kind of texturized stuff, which is pretty cool. We've got a bucking Bronco. The big bucking Bronco has been fixed. The Ford Broncos has been 1960. It's kicking harder and higher than ever. I guess they changed that up a little bit. Um, Built Wild is the slogan for the new Bronco, obviously. And if you didn't see the commercials, they're really going hard on like adventure, lifestyle, and all this stuff. I think that's super appealing to everybody because everybody's currently on lockdown and quarantine. People are locked inside their houses. They're tired. Some of the trails are open, though. So you can get in your car and you can go do a road trip. You can go camping if the campsites aren't already booked. So this whole, it, this is really like, you know, from an advertising standpoint, it's really just putting, you know, everybody wants to go get out and camp and go explore. And this marketing campaign has been really well at that, in my opinion. Um, I've even, I'm, my buddies and friends and clients are even like looking at the Bronco just because I've been talking about it. So everyone's looking at this car right now and it's really appealing to a lot, it's a lot of people. So the screen is almost as large as the, as the 1980s Bronco 2's wheels, which I had a 1980-something Bronco 2 that I bought from a friend for 500 bucks, and it was cool. It was a piece of junk. It was cool, though, because it was just an SUV. It was like my first little SUV thing. But man, it something was wrong with it. The fuel pump wasn't working properly or something. It ended up on someone's farm, and he shot it with a shotgun a bunch of times, and it's just a rust bucket now. The Bronco 2s were not all that good. The touchscreen, though, is pretty cool looking. Now, the new Bronco Sport is actually surprisingly good. If, if, you, did, if you did watch the commercial, it's on the Instagram. The Bronco Sport actually has decent ground clearance, uh, on top of the ground clearance, it has, I believe it has a, a locking rear differential uh, optional. It has decent ground clearance. Yes, it's only going to get the 1.5 liter EcoBoost and the 2 liter EcoBoost, but it's not just a wimpy, uh, compared to the two door or four door with a Sasquatch package, obviously it is, but it's not only, like this thing can actually be pretty capable. This thing can actually do some things. It can definitely go ripping down a trail. You can definitely go off-roading in it. Like I said, you can definitely go off-roading in it. If it has a, le a rear locking differential, you can go off-roading in it. And, it, and it, they are four-wheel. You can get four-wheel drive. I, I believe they're all four-wheel drive. So, anyways, let's get back to the Easter eggs. So, designed and engineered. Let's see what this says. So, designed and engineered Ford in Dearborn, Michigan, USA. That's cool. You know, because you you know it's it's like a pride thing. For, it's a pride. It's a pride thing. So the design work, however, took place about 20 miles east at the Blue Ovals offices in Dearborn, Michigan. The tail light. Here the design team nailed a bunch of personality to a baseball bat. Da -da. <clears throat> so a unique tail light. LED lights. Sharp edges. Similar to what the older trucks had. Even the white reverse seat deep inside the housing. I mean, you know, so... so People sit there and engineer the tail lights. You know that was someone's job, is to uh, probably a few people's job. And if you're looking here, this does have an open tailgate that you pull out. And in the photos, we can we can look at those um, 
in just a minute. Go over any terrain, GOAT, go over any terrain, Ford filed trademark for the acronym. Rotary dial, so there's going to be normal, eco, sport, slippery, sand, for normal driving with Baja, mud ruts, and rock crawl for off-roading, off-road driving. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Push buttons, just like the button in the Jeep Wrangler, the recirculation button on the Ford Bronco is simply an outline of itself. Is it corner if we say buttons like this are a nice touch? Yes. Trail sights. Reminiscent of the first generation Bronco's tall pointy fenders, the new Ford Bronco incorporates the old look with what it's called trail sights. They're tie downs you can strap to, you can strap stuff to, for instance, ORV flags. So like if you're doing the, the dunes, you need those big flags. I think it's you have to have those to be out there. Windshield cables or even high lift jacks. These tie downs are limited to 150 pounds, so don't go using them as recovery points. Yeah, it's not a tow hook, you know, if you get stuck in a mud hole, unless you want to end up on YouTube. So, you know, it's cool, it's functional. You know, like they engineered it to do something. So cool. More Broncos, it looks like it's just, uh, this is the, you know, for the 10 speed automatic transmission that they're offering i'm glad that they used a lever instead of a rotary dial for the shifter and it's cool that it has a bronco and it's got an american flag so they really went over the top with the made in america american flag and it's cool i like it push to start enough said now did you guys check out the brown leather uh, touches that they added on certain trims i'm not sure which trims there's so many trims i'm overwhelmed with it i haven't even had time to look at it Okay, so that's that. Let's look at the let's look at the actual what you guys are here for. There is a tracking list over here. Um, let's see how many people real quick. Let's just check out and see how many people have added their name to the list. Last time I check checked, it was a few hundred. It was like two hundred as of yesterday. So we've got three hundred, and now this is just people on the message boards. 400 and very few people get on message boards these days 500 wow 600 700 700 people as of today which is the 14th of july at 4 26 p.m so and let's see what they're doing four doors two doors it looks like i see in a lot more four doors which is what everyone which the sales number sells four doors usually sell more so everyone's getting the four door all right let's check out the real life photos of the four door now i'm warning you guys i'm just gonna let you look at it see what you think so here's the four door get my mug out of here so this is an all black i don't know what trim this is but it's a four door it looks like it has a steel bumper so i'm assuming it's one of the upper higher higher models it's not a i doubt it's a base i don't think the base came with these fog lights and the bumper and the toe points right like i said i need to look over the trims to get more details on exactly what it is now what bothers me about this so you can remove sections of the roof this is cool you've got this glass so it's it's cool that it's independently removable it's different. The only thing that kind of bothers me with this is I just don't think it, there's something off about it. There's just a little, maybe it's the how orange peel this paint looks and that reflection. It just looks terribly orange peel. It just looks something with that black paint on, for some reason, the way the reflection is, the way the car sits. Maybe it's the wheel and tire package. Maybe this one doesn't have the Sasquatch package is what, what bothers me, although those do look like you see enough of these cars, you can't tell which one's which. But So the doors are off here, obviously. But the guys in the forums kind of said the same thing. It just looks Something about it just looks a little different. And if you guys can let me know what you think it is, it does look jeepy. Someone said that. That was the first thing they said. This is the first time I've seen this door open. So you're going to have a nice flat thing here. Some hooks here. Hopefully these seats lay down flat and the whole thing lays down flat. So I can lay my big butt down there and take a nap if I need to. And I think that's going to be best for storage. Um, yeah, it looks jeepy, but something just turns me off. I don't know what it is. There's a wrinkled leather back seat. 
Maybe it's because the section. So the four door looks good and bad depending on the picture and the color and the trim and that and that. There's there's some of them that look like 10 out of 10 and there's some of them that are kind of like seven out of 10 depending on the color and stuff. So, so it's interesting. Um, let me know if you guys can figure out what that, what's so different about that. Let me know down in the comment section. So next, next on the list, we've got these 37 inch wheel, uh, 37 inch tires with a two inch lift. So here it is. This is the two door on a factory two inch lift kit and 37s. So what I'm assuming is that you can order, let me just say, man, that's big as hell. That looks huge. I don't know why you'd want 37s. I don't need 37s, man. Have you ever gone down an off-road trail and like came across, I mean, don't get me wrong, the bigger looks cool, but 35s are plenty. Um, 37s are just, what are you gonna like? Yeah, like you're really gonna go rock crawling. If you're gonna go rock crawling, sure. Like you're going to need those to get over bigger rocks. Um, I don't like to bash my oil pan on rocks on a new car and stuff like that. So dude, I think the Sasquatch package is plenty fine. This looks, you know, overkill, but, um, it's really cool that Ford offers that. And it's really cool that there's like method, you know, beadlocks and method racing wheels on, on this Bronco. And I think you'll probably, I guess they have a contract with method. I don't know. They didn't respond to my email. So we'll find out what the deal is with this, but I'm assuming you're just going to be able to order this straight from the four dealer and be like, I want the 37s with the lift kit. And that's going to be, you know, three grand or four grand or whatever the price is for the, the upcharge for the different wheels and tires and suspension kit. So let's see what the form guys say. If you don't know, um, for the Mustang stuff, if you're not a Mustang guy, the the Ford offers like tunes for the EcoBoost and the V8. So they might offer a tune because they just came out with a tune for the Ford Ranger. If you don't know, there's a whole parts list that they just came out with for the Ranger, like off-road bumpers and roof rack stuff and tune and so much stuff i made a video on it. i forgot it already but so the 2.7 ecoboost with a tune will make a ton of power like 100 horsepower extra probably something like that you guys i'm sure will let me know in the comment section what the dynograph i don't know it off the top of my head when i'm making a video but when you turn up the boost on ecoboost it makes a ton of power and adjust the timing stuff like this so for performance will actually make a tune for this and it'll be super fun and super fast so you'll be able to order a tune i'm sure before too long and get these big big tires but let me know what you guys think in in the comment section below in the next video i think what we'll do is we'll go over all the trims and i'll look at it beforehand so i know what i'm talking about and real quick we can just go over this uh chassis and and, and see what we can see so this definitely has the sasquatch so i believe these are the sasquatch package these are the 315 77s tire size and then these are going to be the sasquatch wheels this will be the 227 eco boost and i believe this is on a four four door chassis looks like it's a little longer so you can start to see the rear end where everything's mounted it's big like torsion bar you can see they've got a sensor on the rear wheels on the rear um brake caliper to do with you know it has something to do with traction control and traction management and you know that they also have that uh wheel lock to to decrease the turning radius it'll lock up the inside tires you turn and there are some cool photos if you want to look at this you can see how the bushings are mounted up and the suspension there's some more stuff here and there is a picture of the turbocharger in a second there's the shocks i don't know if that's a separate reservoir or i've never seen uh, a shock that looked like that it wasn't a separate reservoir if you have let me know in the comments yeah there's a little there's one of the little turbos under there which i'm sure people will be changing out and turning this thing up 
you can make a lot of power with these engines, guys. A lot of power. I mean, I was looking at a, a 1.6 liter EcoBoost that was making 250 wheel horsepower today, which is 300 crank, roughly, something like that. Um, you'll be able to make you'll be able to make 400 easy crank, 500 torque crank easy, and then you can upgrade these turbos and make another 100 or 150 pretty easily. Bigger turbos, E85 tune, you're gonna make a ton of power if you want to. You don't have to swap in a Coyote. So there's the chassis. Let's see what else we got. A lot of people were having issues with ordering yours. So if you tried to order yours last night, you were the only one that had issues ordering it. There's tons of people. And let's just see what the latest thing is. A lot of people had to go to different dealerships and place an order. So they call different, you know, you're not really placing an order. You're just putting your foot in the door. So, so you get a first shot at it. All right, guys, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the links below, uh, support the channel if you'd like to do that. And I will catch you guys in the next video.